Welcome to Study Orgo's edition of the explanation of a dehydrohalogenation reaction mechanism. In this reaction, an alkyl halide is reacted with a strong base, such as sodium hydroxide, to form an alkene. The reaction eliminates a molecule of hydrogen bromide, hence the term dehydrohalogenation. Let's take a look at the reaction mechanism. To start the mechanism, hydroxide anion attacks an alpha carbon proton, abstracting it to form a molecule of water. The electron density between the carbon-hydrogen bond that is broken is shifted to the carbon-carbon bond to make a new pi bond. This simultaneously leads to the leaving of the halogen leaving group and formation of the alkene product. This mechanism is said to be concerted and the transition state is shown here in brackets. A transition state happens so fast that it is not able to be captured in an experiment and thus is a hypothetical representation of an intermediate to explain the reaction. Remember that the leaving group, bromine, and the alpha carbon have to be orientated in an antiperiplanar geometry to accurately predict the stereoselectivity of the double bond in complex molecules. Although this reaction has its own name, dehydrohalogenation, this is an example of an E2 elimination mechanism. Here at Study Orgo, we like to give you the tips and tricks to help you remember the mechanism so that you get it right on your next exam. Remember that the overall big picture is transformation of an alkyl halide with a strong base into an alkene product. The mechanism involves the elimination of hydrogen bromide from the haloalkane via an E2 reaction mechanism. When considering the regioselectivity for the reaction, remember that the Zaitsev product is usually formed, which means that when you choose which alpha carbon proton to attack with the anion, choose the one that will make the most substituted double bond. But watch out, if your base is very bulky, such as turf butoxide, then the Hoffman product will be observed, which means that the least substituted double bond product will be formed. This has to do with the accessibility of bulky bases to the alpha carbon proton. And in this case, the less substituted position is more accessible to a bulky base and will experience less steric hindrance. That concludes our explanation of the dehydrohalogenation reaction mechanism. We thank you for watching.